Hey, I'm Jam. I'm Jason. And welcome back to Podcast for Your Life, where non-experts share personal stories and unsolicited but much-needed analyses of life, one topic at a time, in 15 minutes or less. Yep. Or else we have to uh, yep. do something. We have to donate some money. Yeah. Or kidney. Yep. Or a liver. <laughs> Speaking of livers, so today we're talking about a weird topic, probably one of our weirder ones, I would say. We have really had to process this topic, you know, we've been yep. processing it for a couple of weeks. Yeah, actually, that's true. One of the more an analytical analyses that we've done, I would say. Yep. We're going to take an in-depth look at spam. spam. And because you read the title before you clicked on this, you already knew. So no surprise there. Yep. Sorry, we just wasted your 90 seconds of your life. Uh, moving on. <laughs> well, one of the weird things about spam that came up immediately when we started talking about the idea of potentially talking about this topic is the fact that spam means more than one thing. Yeah. Like nowadays, I think when we think of spam, we think of the email, right? The filter mm -hmm. that says, okay, this is junk. This is junk. These are ads for whatever. Yeah. And so there's like a folder or category in your email inbox of spam, which is undesirable junk mail. Yeah. But it's, where did it come from? And it's always like, hi, Jason Crest 33 did you get my other email? We're trying to reach you about your account. And it's like, they just put your email address in there. It's actually not Jason's real email, <laughs> by the way. Um, but they just put your email address in there and they just like autofill stuff and try to get you to do things, click things, buy things, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you get that proposal I sent you? I'd love to do business with you. Mm -hmm. Please send me money. Yeah. And the classic like Nigerian prince thing that's somehow been around for as long as email's been around. Yeah. At least a seems. joke. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So anyway, that's one, that's the kind of spam that we deal with most days, these days in 2020. But the other kind of spam, perhaps the OG spam, mm -hmm. uh, is something they used to eat, apparently. Mm. What if the word spam was actually older than the, the processed canned meat? Oh man, I don't know what it is. Yeah, now I'm like second guessing myself. Yeah. What if it's like an acronym or something? It probably is. I mean, what if it's even something like a portmanteau, meaning two words that are combined together? Holy moly, your vocabulary is uncanny. <laughs> so we could talk a little more about the spam that we have in our inboxes, but we yeah. want to start with the source material. Right. And so Jason and I both have some actual spam. Yes. In front of us. Yep. And we need to disclose this. Uh, first of all, we're not sponsored by spam for this episode. Yep. Second of all, Jam and I have never had spam. That's true. 20 something years of our lives and we have uh, dodged the bullet <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> except at this point we kind of we're kind of stepping in front of the bullet this yeah that's point. true this is voluntary but no one makes anyone do this but we are making ourselves <laughs> this is for a good cause yeah we also accidentally well we we have some we both have some off-brand spam too so we're going to be trying both i don't actually know if it's off-brand i think it's actually it's uh, it's like it's similar okay so we have spam uh-huh the original spam. Yep. And then we also have Armor Treat. Armor Treat. D R E E T. So uh, we have both uncooked. Of, I think all spam is cooked. Right? Right, right, right. So it comes out cooked. We have an uncooked, mm -hmm. and then we have a grilled or whatever you would call it. Yeah, sauteed. Grilled. I don't know. Yeah, toasted. Crisped, toasted. Yeah, toasted spam. That actually sounds pretty decent. So yeah, it does. Um, so we're going to just uh, try it while we're talking. I mean, okay, let's let's some, sync up, though. What are we going to do podcast first? podcast for your life uh, ASMR here. So uh, I think we should go with the original uncooked. Okay, original yeah. uncooked. Here we go. Uncooked. Yep. I do have some uh, Topo Chico and Flamin' Hot Cheetos to wash this down with afterwards. <laughs> uh, cheers. Cheers. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Okay, so my first impression is that it, it tastes like cat food. Uh-huh. That is exactly how I'm feeling right now. It's like how cat food smells. It, yeah, exactly. It tastes how cat food smells. And there's a hint of like, um, you know, like the cans of free. <laughs> Jan's really struggling oh, over here. Gosh, dang, dude. It's so gross. It's so salty. It is. It's very salty. It tastes like a little bit like the Fritos refried bean dip. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Have you had that? No. It's weird. It's Refried like, beans refried are beans. also too salty for me. Oh, oh. And my Tobo Chico just, uh, <laughs> just fizzed everywhere, so <laughs> sorry. He's uh, he's uncanned. <clears throat> okay, man, too many canned jokes already. I'm just bubbling over with Bro. disgust here. I didn't. It, it's kind of like a very, very salty bacon mixed with cat nip or cat food mixed with... Let's go toasted. 
Yeah. yeah. All right. Toasted. Oh, regular. we have to give them ratings. I think we should probably give them ratings. Yeah. Okay. So uh, on a scale of one to seven. Okay. Oh, seven. Weird. Okay. I mean, I would say that raw. I don't want to go all the way bottom because it's definitely edible. So I'm going to say like one to seven. It's a two. Okay. I'll give it a two because I'm kind of like giving the armor the benefit of the doubt that it could be worse. <laughs> so. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Cheers. Here's the toasted spam. Toasted spam. Okay. Yeah. Better. Here's the secret with this one. Cast iron skillet is what these were cooked in. Mm-hmm. That might help. That might help. Still very salty. Too salty for me yeah. in general, but way more edible. A lot less cat food, yeah. I would say. It kind of, yeah, definitely. The the cast iron skillet takes the edge, the cat <laughs> cat food edge off yeah. of it. You really got to yeah, curb that cat food <laughs> edge there. This tastes a lot like, kind of like a very salty turkey bacon. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can see that. I feel like it loses its smokiness, though, mm-hmm. when you cook it. It okay. takes on more of a crispy bacon flavor and less of a smoky thing. So, yeah. But I would say I'm going to give this five out of seven. Whoa. The, and again, this is on a scale of one to spam. Okay, yeah. This is not like gourmet food, like, oh, yeah, five stars. Yeah. This is like for spam. Yeah, for spam. It's for processed canned meats. So I would say this is like a four okay. for me. Like it being toasted makes it. Two points better. I would I would have another bite of this. I would. I would not, but we have the armor treat. So <laughs> exactly. Gotta, that's what I'm, like, I'm not going to actually you know. do that. <laughs> so raw armor treat first. Raw armor I treat. I mean, yeah, now. Yeah, before we do that, we should talk about... People must hate spam so much that it became the word for spam for emails. Yeah, Like, yeah. I think somewhere along the way, either most people hate spam mm-hmm. or... Some people who developed email systems were like, oh, you know what we should do? We should call yeah. it spam. Well, and junk mail has been a thing forever. You know, it's like right. what we refer to like the physical mail that gets mm-hmm. just like yep. ads and coupons and stuff um, or people trying to sell you a credit card. But I think I, I wouldn't be surprised if one specific email client called it spam and people just thought that was so funny. What if? You know, they're like, oh, yeah, spam. And that just took <laughs> ca- caught on. That's true. Yeah, that's possible. Again, we're not uh, the experts. And <laughs> so... Somebody may have already Googled it. They're like, pause this episode and Google oh. it. Like, oh my gosh, these idiots. I have a theory about the connection, but I want to save it for after we try this. Well, then um, I'm curious. Up. So bottoms <laughs> up. Here's the armor treat. Uncooked. Oh. Actually, less cat foody, to be honest with you. Sweeter. Okay, I... Consistency oh. is bad, though. Oh, yeah. The consistency is much worse. <laughs> it's like doesn't even require chewing. You could just <laughs> straight up swallow it. It's this already is, been chewed. Yeah. Armor tree. It's great for dentures. <laughs> yeah. And babies. So this is what it tastes like. It tastes a little bit like uh, like a honey deli ham that you get at the store. And yeah. they like ground yeah. it up. But this isn't like the slices, like the nice <clears throat> slices. This is like all the leftovers. And yeah. they kind of squish them together and mush them into a square can. <laughs> yeah. I was actually surprised at how different these are. Yeah, they're very different. If you I ever, honestly were expecting them to be a lot more similar, but they're actually pretty different. If you're a non-spammer and you really want to like some sort of canned meat, hmm. try Armor Treat. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I could see people being fans of one, but not the other. Oh, yeah. So what would you rate that one, Jam? Mm, a three. I would give it a two as well. I think it's equally bad. It's just... Okay. It's different. I thought it was just a little more stomachable. Okay, fair but, enough. Yeah. Okay, I guess it, yeah, the catnip yeah. food flavor. So, okay, yeah. I'll give it two and a half. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can do halves? Dang. All right. Toasted Armored Treat. Toasted Armored Treat. Mmm. 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 Wow. Um, it's a little bit more bacony. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really is. It loses its sweetness. Mm-hmm. I like the savoriness, which is weird because what is happening in the cooking process mm-hmm. that's changing? <laughs> it's still some sweet, like more than the spam, but a lot less once you cook this. I feel like I'm going to need to send a question to Chemistry for Your Life to be like, what is going on chemically, molecularly mm-hmm. that changes it up? And the, and the answer will be like, yeah, chemists don't know. Chemists don't understand spam. It's still a, a, a total question mark for us. <laughs> it's right. No one knows it. No one understands. <laughs> So what do we rate? Toasted um, armor treat. I think I'm going to give it a three. I think I like the toasted spam better okay. than the toasted armor treat. So three. Yeah. I think I'm feeling the same way. What did I give the toasted spam? Four? Four, yeah. I'm going to go with three and a half, I think. 
Nice. So just a little bit because I didn't. Yeah. I did a three raw, so it's slightly better. So the the polarization between the uncooked and cooked spam is pretty significant. Mm-hmm. Pretty amazing. Uh, Armor is a little bit more moderate. Here's the last thing I'll say about spam before we move on to your amazing theories. <laughs> I think I would actually see myself eating this. Really? However, I'm too concerned about what it's made out of. Like, yeah. Right now, I'm not thinking about it. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's the thing that holds me back. I'm like, yeah, I could eat another bite. However, I don't know what this thing is right. made out of. <laughs> yeah, there's just too many questions. Too many questions. So... I actually grew up, my dad used to eat Spam. Now, he okay. did grow up in Bolivia, and I think a lot of that could have to do with it. He just probably wouldn't have some of the connotations we have about Spam. Like, we've grown up it being kind of the butt of a joke already. But he ate it, and so we would have some just kind of always in our pantry. I cannot tell you how many times I actually saw him eat it, but it's just one of those things hmm. that you always notice in your pantry growing up. It probably has a great shelf life. And if mm-hmm. in emergencies, I would I would eat this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I think about like, oh, no, I have to eat a lizard or something. I'd mm-hmm. probably prefer the spam, you know, like it's edible. So <laughs> spam, my, it's edible. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's mostly edible. I mean, one of the things, one of the cans said like ham flavor. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. Natural ham flavor. Yep. And it's like, that doesn't sound like it goes together. Yeah. So there's not a lot to say, but I think spam the email is something that you go to your inbox and it's kind of always there. Now there's obviously, obviously a spam filter and stuff. And a lot of things do go over there. My experience growing up is that you're a kid, you're hunting for a snack, you're digging in the pantry, mm. you're looking for something. And somehow, even though you don't remember your mom, or your dad buying it, somehow spam ends up in the pantry. Hmm. Okay. And that's my theory about how somebody thought I'll call junk email spam. Like somehow, inexplicably, spam ended up in my inbox. Same yep. with the pantry. I can see that. It's always there and no one really likes it. Yep. Huh. And it's like, who would do this to somebody? Who would sneak some spam into somebody's pantry? Yeah. Who would sneak some spam into my inbox? Wouldn't be crazy if we had somebody deliver spam every day, just like we get spam in our email inboxes. So it's like, just imagine opening your mailbox every day and there's like a can of spam in there. And you're just like, oh. Yeah, and it's a new one. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think there's a pretty high chance of that not happening. I think people would be like, waste some money. I'm not even going to go there. But the thing is that you're not the one. Uh, That'd be a great practical joke, though, because everybody knows that email is called spam. Yes. So what if you just like stuck a can of spam into somebody's mailbox? <laughs> That's I, genius. Yeah, and then it'd be like it'd be like reverse humor. It's like yeah. we took something from 2020 and we we reversed it to physical mail. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Hey, you know what goes around comes around in a rounded squarish. Yeah, can, can. But not that we're advocating for that because I think messing with people's mailboxes is technically a federal crime because of something. <laughs> yeah, we don't. No, I know one's really explained that to me, but as a really? kid, yeah, it's like something about the mail. So don't do it. Yeah, is what they say. <laughs> so we are not saying you should do it, but if you wanted to do it, we think it'd be funny, and we would, depending on what the bail is, maybe try to help bail you out. <laughs> Uh, maybe we could actually use spam as as the bail money. Yeah, we contact that prince and be like, "Listen, our <laughs> friend, he actually really needs some money. Um, we're totally good for it, but we just have to bail him out. So, like, is there any way that you could spam? Spam. It finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> spam. We can't call it the other white meat. It's not white. And it's maybe not even meat. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> Signing up from Washington. Bam, it looks like meat. Does it though? Kind of. I mean, it kind of looks like ham. Looks like a hot dog. Makes me rethink hot dogs. Yeah. Spam, just when you thought you've seen it all. Spam, for all the people who've been a little curious about maybe trying their cat food. I've heard some people just actually eat their yeah. cat food. <clears throat> but that's why there's spam. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's just like spam you're welcome they're like we're not gonna go there we know what you wanted and we know that you wanted to try your cat food we're not gonna address it in our advertisement we both know what we're talking about oh here. man here you that's go. uh oh wow well guys we don't judge we uh <laughs> spammed your podcast feed enough i think for one day yep so we are gonna wrap this up and talk to you next week if we're still alive yep see ya <laughs> bye <laughs>